I always felt overweight, but I really hit the obese stage after I had my daughter. I lost and regained the same 50 pounds over and over again. My blood pressure was getting harder and harder to control. I did not want to take a third medication, just trying to control it. And then I failed IVF and I couldn't get pregnant. I'm a nurse and when I moved to Chicago, I was lucky enough to get a job at Rush. I am the stroke case manager here. I see patients every day. They thought their blood pressure was under control enough. They thought it was good enough until they have a massive stroke, catastrophic. And I just looked at them and I thought, what if that happened to me? I could not do that to my family. When I started to consider bariatric surgery, I weighed about 240 pounds. At five foot one, that's a pretty high BMI. So I did my research. I talked to people who'd had their surgery here. I read the doctor's reviews online. And then I met with my bariatric surgeon and I had my surgery that year. I soon realized that Rush was one of the best in the country and the best choice for me. Patients often come in with various conditions associated with their obesity. These conditions include high blood pressure, sleep apnea, diabetes, high cholesterol. For me, it's most important to discuss with patients their goals and expectations. Once I better understand a patient's health profile, then I can better understand which operation would be best for them. In Cora's case, the gastric bypass surgery was best for her. I remember Cora telling me that she comes from a family of fast eaters, herself included. One of the things we've really been working on together is to slow down her meals. This might include taking really small bites and chewing her food up really, really well. After surgery, Cora had a really tough time with the liquid diet. So we were actually able to transition her a little quicker than normal to semi-solid soft foods. This is one of the ways that we can personalize the program to each individual patient. One of the first steps is to find out how a patient is thinking and feeling about surgery. We talk a lot about stress and about eating habits and whether a patient might be eating to cope with stress. Before having surgery, it's important to understand if you're ready to make the lifestyle changes that will help you be successful after surgery. Some people may have anxiety about the surgical procedure itself. We help people with that. Some of the thoughts might be, am I gonna look good in clothes after surgery? What am I gonna say when people ask me about my weight loss? That is what we're here to help patients with. With the guidance I got at Rush, it's amazing the emotional clarity I've achieved. I'm in touch with my whole team for follow-up. Dr. Shimke, my dietitians, my weight loss therapist, she's really helped me with some of the emotional issues that go along with all of this. Rush coaches, this is more than a surgery. This is a lifestyle change. Right now, I'm still actively losing weight. If I stall out or gain a pound, I can reach out and get the support I need every time. There are support group meetings I can go to and share this journey with others just like me. Rush truly has your back.